Hey gangs, so uh, I'm here in the Salt Lake City Airport getting ready to fly to Phoenix, Arizona uh, to do some video shoots at my amazing sponsors, Kimes Ranch Jeans and Watson's Hat Shop uh, tomorrow <clears throat> to get ready for new music that is coming. I'm very excited, so we have big announcements coming up about new record, new music, new single, everything. So uh, we're gonna have a lot to talk about here in the next few weeks, but uh, currently masked up and uh, headed to Phoenix. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this fucking plant with me. I think it would look good on uh, in the middle seat that they're we'll keep, <laughs> keep it open for. Us. So here in Phoenix, uh, currently at home, it's quarter to one, which would mean I think it's about 11 o'clock here, p.m. And it is currently um, 99 degrees <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. It is hot as 10 sets of balls in an oven. I don't even know what that means. Made it here, the boys from the label and Julian, who are coming out with the camera crew, are showing up in the morning and we're gonna be heading over to uh, Watson's Hat Shop, my custom hat maker here in Cape Creek, Arizona. Um, and he's incredible. And then of course over to Kimes Ranch Jeans. So, head to the hotel, it's hot. morning here from uh, Phoenix get ready to head out to the first shoot up at Watson's hat shop grab me a hot ass uh, coffee from Starbucks which is a mistake because it's 140 degrees outside <laughs> brilliant brilliant hey so we just got uh, I here to Cave Creek Arizona the Watson's hat shop stop one What's the uh, what's the current temperature here, Julie? I think it's 99, almost 100. 99, yeah. Feels pretty good. Andrew, Andrew's eating some local Los Angeles, Phoenix local <laughs> pork cracklings. Sabrosos. And they're hot and spicy. Yeah. How do the how are those going down in the uh, 100 degree heat here, pal? Could be better. <laughs> I wish they were iced. But all right. Do you have any iced, hot, and spicy pork rinds, please? Yes. All right, so stop one today of the uh, shoot for new music. Forrest has been up since four. I texted him at midnight because I'm a good friend. up here at uh, Watson's Hat Shop. We're a big, huge, gigantic, amazing thanks to uh, Eric and Emily Watson for opening the shop for us uh, on a day when they're normally closed. They have the uh, greatest custom hats. I mean, they're the most amazing hatters on the planet. If you look through, um, everything that they do in here is the way that it was done 150 years ago. All their wood blocks, all their custom hats, all of, uh, here's this, Boiler, all their presses, um, everything in here is done in a classic way with amazing products. So uh, if you're looking for an amazing custom hat or you want to get one as a gift for somebody, um, I don't, I will stand on anybody's coffee table in my cowboy boots and tell you that uh, Watson's hats are the best hats on the planet. Not only uh, are they just great people, but also they have such a way of capturing your personality in the hat, which I never really thought was possible until I got here. So Watson's Hat Shop, go check them out. And a big thanks again to Eric and Emily 
and uh, their whole staff for letting us come in here and do this on the day off. So, on to Kimes Ranch Jeans. You know, be sure you come check them out. How'd we do? Successful day today. Let me tell you what. I feel yeah. good about it. I do. Killer. Killer. Did you guys uh, enjoy the air conditioning? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nice and cool here. I need like 30 quarts of water. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, kind. It came with the hottest, hottest week of the year. Yeah, it's hot. It's, it's hotter than a $2 pistol. But we're done. Got all our shots. Big thanks to Amanda and Matt Kimes, everyone at Kimes Ranch. We love them. Got to thank uh, Eric and Emily Watson from Watson's Hat Shop. And uh, headed back to Nashville in the morning. So it's been a minute. I'm going to reintroduce myself to my wife and kids and see if they remember me. So. Uh, shocker. It's hot still. Um, but the good news is after two, three weeks on the road, I am uh, headed home to Nashville.